Hi, I'm Min Jo Chen with Alexis College. In this video, I'll be comparing the all-new Lexus NX to the BMW X3. We'll look at everything from performance to technology. The X3 carries all the traditional BMW styling. It's recognizable, but at the same time, you might call it conventional. The NX is anything but conventional. The all-new NX is completely original, and it has so many details, like the design of the lights and the ergonomic door handles. But it's not just looks. The NX has standard LED low beam headlamps, daytime running lights, and fog lamps. These cost extra on the X3. Rear wheel drive is standard on the X3. That's fine for dry conditions with good grip. But for all weather confidence, many drivers will prefer the front wheel drive of the NX. You can get either vehicle with all wheel drive for extra assurance. The X3 doesn't come with a spare tire. It uses run flat tires. Run flats save space and weight, but depending on where you are and when you get a flat, you may have trouble finding a replacement tire. And run flats can be more expensive to replace. The NX uses conventional tires and comes with a spare. Any replacement tires will likely cost less than the X3's run flat design. On the spec page, the BMW's cargo area is slightly larger than the NX's, but that doesn't tell the whole story. The X3 uses a roller style cargo cover. You can't use it as a shelf, and once you remove it, there's no place to store it, except maybe in your garage. The NX shows a lot more thought. It uses a rigid cover that doubles as a temporary shelf. It removes easily and folds and stores below the cargo deck. Rear seats up, the NX's cargo area can hold four golf bags without affecting the driver's rear view. The X3, not so much. All things considered, NX's cargo area holds the advantage over X3. Inside, the X3 matches the outside. It's made of high quality materials and they're put together well. You can enter the NX without a key because smart access is standard. The similar X3 system is an extra cost item. Let's talk about seating. When it comes to rear seat legroom, the BMW has a very slight advantage, but only by less than an inch. The NX has almost three inches more front legroom than the X3. That means front seat passengers get more room in the NX while rear seat passengers are almost even. Another advantage for NX is in the convenience of the folding rear seats. There are switches on the instrument panel, at the rear seat, and in the cargo area. So wherever you are, you can adjust sections of the 60-40 split seat. It's available on the NX, but not even an option for the X3. Along the same lines of convenience, this isn't just a storage tray. This is an available Qi wireless charger. Just put your compatible device on the tray and it will charge, no cables needed. And the list goes on. The backup camera and voice command technology are standard on the NX and extra cost on the X3. The NX comes with a standard eight airbags compared to six on the X3. That could potentially make a difference to a buyer. So, as you can see, NX has a lot of advantages, but there's one more very important one, value. Several standard NX features are optional on the X3. Put LED low beams, a backup camera, and keyless entry on the X3, and the BMW's price grows considerably. If you compare comparably equipped pricing, the NX will likely be thousands lower. That's pretty good value, made better by a longer powertrain warranty. NX comes with a six-year, 70,000-mile warranty compared to BMW's four-year, 50,000-mile warranty. For more information on the 2015 NX, make sure to watch the walk-around video and download our free NX app off the iTunes and Google Play app stores.